Hello everyone, this is Maya from Student Solutions and today I'm going to give you a little presentation on uh, some winter activities that you can do um, during the winter, of course. So uh, let's just get started. I'm going to share my screen and there we go. We're just going to have some fun today. Okay, so the first thing um, uh, I would like to share is tobogganing. Tobogganing is one of the activities uh, that you can do uh, during winter. It's uh, very simple. You just, uh, it's also called tubing as well, I guess. Uh, it's a, you basically come down a slope with this, the, this little, um, I think it's called a schladev. If I'm not wrong, I'm going to confirm it with, for you. I think it is called yeah, it's also called uh, sledding, sledding, not sledding. So that's one of the things that you can do. You come down the slope and um, in this little thing and just have some fun during the winter. You can sit uh, by yourself or you can also share it with a friend or so. It depends how big it is. Um, you can also rent it at some places. I believe some provinces do have these places uh, um, where you can rent these certain kind of things if you don't want to buy your own. That's totally up to you, uh, but just check it before you go that do, do they have the service available or no. The second thing you can do is winter camping, exactly like summer camping. You can go for winter camping and um, you have to buy your own uh, little camp, little tent and some winter gears uh, to get you started. Uh, for the same thing, I believe there's groups who go um, on the mountains and stuff. They're very experienced and they're, uh, they do it for like a little amount of money. You have to check it online. Uh, but I would recommend that you do go with the groups because it's not something that you want to do it on your own unless you've never done it. Like if you've never done it before, then you don't want to do it. But if you have a friend or someone who have done it before, then yeah, just go with them. Uh, same thing, you need to make sure that you have your winter gears on and you can stay there overnight so you can take food um, or other things that you want to do during the night or in the morning, there's some activities that you would like to do. Uh, just check it with experienced people so that they have been there, they know what to do. So you're not there and um, uh, all by yourself and you just don't know um, really to, to get the most out of it. It's better to go with someone who really knows what they're doing and really have been there before so that you can have more fun. Second thing is skiing. Skiing is the kind of the same thing like, you know, tubing, but it's with these to uh, you come down on a slope and uh, you can get these uh, ski equipment from stores here in Canada, like Canadian Tire and there are other stores. Uh, we're gonna talk more about it later, but uh, there's some stores that you can get this stuff from and uh, I believe you can rent them as well. It, it's a very convenient because like, you know, not everybody is into it like as a full-time um, hobby. So there are places where you can also rent these things as well. And if you you feel like this is something you want to do for the rest of the winter or so then you can just get your own things as well and these equipments and the same thing just make sure you have the winter gears because all these activities uh, they're during the winter and they're on the mountains and so and it's much much colder than actually in the city so just make sure that you are dressed warm and you're with someone who uh, knows what they're doing so that they can help you with it and to avoid any kind of uh, mishaps Second, this one is uh, not the second, the fourth one is uh, building snowmen, which is, it's pretty easy, right? For this, you don't need any experience or anything to pretty much is it what you need is a carrot and a few rocks and uh, maybe a scarf or a hat and that's it. You go out with your friends, you can go outside your campus, go outside the place you're staying, your house, your apartment, anywhere you see a lot of snow where you feel like, you know, you can build like, like big balls and then put them on each other. You can uh, like uh, make a small uh, snowman or you can just uh, make a big one. It's totally up to you. Just get together with your friends and just make some uh, snowman and there's literally no expertise involved in it. Um, yeah, just do that. Just make sure stay. Same thing. I'm going to keep saying that over and over again. Make sure you have your gloves on and make sure you are not catching cold and you're not just uh, giving like yourself frostbites or anything of that sort. And yeah, just go out and just take photos with it and just um, show it to your family and friends what you've done and like what you're doing. It's just a fun thing to do. The second thing, uh, like not the second one, it's uh, 
for five thing, fifth thing is uh, the Northern Lights. Okay, for that one, I have a little note here because I didn't want to give out wrong information. Um, for the um, Northern Lights, it's not everywhere. It's only on the uh, side of uh, the Northern, uh, Northern Hemisphere. So let's just see. And yeah, it's also the, um, it's also called the Aurora Borealis. Sorry if I just butchered it, but yeah, it's uh, the Northern Lights and they're the natural display of lights in this night sky. And they're only visible in the Northern Hemisphere. So you can't just see them everywhere. So all the other activities you can do in, no matter if you're in Quebec, you're like you're in Toronto, no matter where you are. But this one, it has to be specific. It has Yellowknife, Goose Bay, the shores of Hudson Bay and Manitoba, the areas around Jasper and Banff in Alberta. So um, those are the um, areas where you can see the Northern Lights. So that's not something you can see anywhere, but these are the best places. These are the best places where you can uh, see them. I have never seen them, but it, I've heard that it's a wonderful experience. So that's one of the things that you can do. Uh, the second, the end, I don't know why I keep saying second, but like the next thing is ice fishing. Ice fishing is one of fun activities as well. And it just goes back to, um, I have a little thing like most traditional winter activities in Canada, and it was a key to survival. So basically it, these are lakes, right? And they are frozen during the winter. And that's what the fishermen used to go. They just used to stay there and the dig like a little hole and then just sit there sometimes all day to catch fishes. And they're different kind of fishes that they used to catch for survival. And now it has become like a fun thing to do. Like you can go um, with your friends, your family, or whoever you want to go with. And then you can just go catch some fishes and on the frozen lake and just be careful. Same thing going with people who know, because these are lakes actually, which are frozen. So you just dig a hole and just uh, do some ice fishing. Ice skating. Ice skating is a fun activity as well. And you will see a lot of ice rings and they could be when they're in Toronto, they're in Quebec, they're like in Calgary, they're everywhere. And for the skates, you can rent them. Um, I have done it personally with my friends, uh, like uh, Nathan Phillips Square, and it's right in front of the city hall. And then you can see that over there, there's a rental place as well. And then you can rent uh, skates for an hour for a small amount of money and you can use them uh, for skating or you want to get your own you can get that as well uh, from stores as well like the stores which have the winter gears and winter equipment the sports goods uh so that's one of the things that you can do uh the sports equipments and also um yeah this is not something that you don't need really experience for it but like you can just learn it it's practice and practice you keep on doing it you're gonna fall a couple of times so be careful be ready for that but apart from that, yeah, then you just be, be you, you can get become a pro at it in a few winters. So that's one of the fun things you can do. And you will see a lot of people doing this during the winter time during this uh, and during December. Okay, and it's, it's beautiful, like, you know, you see the lights and people skating. So that's kind quite of an experience. So, well, that's it. And we, this is what we had for today um, for uh, the winter activities. And there's a lot of, sure, a lot of more things to do. I um, hope you like the presentation. I am going to stop it right here. And uh, you have a good day or a good night. Bye-bye.